multi-instance classification using transformer model. I use the transformer from this Keras documentation example for multi-instance classification. The class of each instance depends on other instances that come in one bag. I use transformer model because it makes no assumptions about the temporal slash spatial relationships across the data. This is ideal for processing a set of objects. For example, each bag may have maximal five instances and there are three features per instance. Features and labels of first two bags, with five and two instances. Next, I pad features with zeros and targets with minus one. Where x dot shape is equal to 10, 5, 3, and y dot shape is equal to 10, 5. I made two changes to the original model, added the masking layer after the input layer and set the number of units in the last dense layer to the maximal size of the bag, plus sigmoid activation. It looks like my model doesn't learn much. If I use the number of true values for each bag, y.sumaxis equals 1 and dense 1, as a target instead of classification of each instance, the model learns good. Where is my error? How should I build the output layer in this case? Do I need a custom lost function? Update. I made a custom loss function. and it looks like the model learns. But it predicts all non-masked labels as one. At Tush 89 this is my problem. I take two time points, T1 and T2 and look for all vehicles that are in maintenance at the time T1 and for all vehicles that are planned to be in maintenance at the time T2. So, this is my bag of items. Then I calculate features like how much time T1 vehicles have already spent in maintenance, how much time from T1 to the planned start for T2 vehicle etc. My model learns well if I try to predict the number of vehicles in maintenance at the time T2, but I would like to predict which of them will leave and which of them will come in, 3 versus, true, false, true, true, for 4 vehicles in the bag. There are three important improvements. Remove the global average pooling 1D. It's a kind of bottleneck, data compression, if you make a prediction for each item. Without this layer, you also get a two-dimensional tensor with the max number of items in the first dimension, five in my case, for free in the output. So, you can set the last dense layer to the number of categories, one in my case. Add a custom loss function to exclude target padding from calculation, already added to my question, and a custom metric function if you want to see the real metric. 
add an attention underscore masked to the multi-head attention, instead of masking layer, to mask the padding. Just a simple add-on to it Mikola underscore Zotko's improvement answer to those new users who are learning deep learning with Keras and TensorFlow. Remove the global average pooling 1D. For context, this global average pooling 1D is basically a global average pooling operation for temporal data. So basically when you remove this method call, you are removing the pooling operation, or in simpler terms by at Mikola underscore Zotko. You get a two-dimensional tensor with a max number of items in the first dimension, five in my case, for free in the output. The alias is and the code for this method. The source for this can be found on GitHub, TensorFlow 1 version, tensorflow.org doc. Add a custom loss function. What a loss function simply does is to, to generate the quantity that a model should seek to minimize during training time. Source. Or in other terms, In mathematical optimization, statistics, machine learning and deep learning the loss function, also known as cost function or error function, is a function that defines a correlation between a series of values and a real number. That number represents conceptually the cost associated with an event or a set of values. In general, the goal of an optimization procedure is to minimize the loss function. Towards data science, custom loss function in TensorFlow. Add an attention underscore mask to the multi-head attention. Alias. Code for the method. Source on. GitHub. TensorFlow.org doc. Previous improvements that were made to the code. Metrics equals accuracy, to metrics equals binary underscore accuracy. Using cross entropy in the custom loss function. Thank <laughs> you.